Welcome to 3 Cab Fulda. Now I'm gonna cut out this first five minutes to drive and I'll see you guys over there. Managed to get his gun up. See if we can take another shot off of this guy. Yeah, there he's, I've seen him now that he's down there. Nothing really important out of that time. Uh, that looks like a panther for all of it. Managed to get his commander. This tiger's gonna have his gunner back. He's still not angling against me, so that's a nice easy kill. Bonjour! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at a tank that used to be one of the most feared things on the battlefield. And now at 5.3, the jumbo just don't look so good anymore. Except when it's in this camouflage. This is the French Tig Tree variant. Now let's throw back to a time where this thing was 4.7. And if you were in a 3.7 vehicle, like a Panzer IV or F2, even a 3.3, and you come up against this thing, it was an absolute nightmare. And then, after a long while of it sitting there dominating at that BR, it would move, move to 5.0, where it was actually kind of balanced. But now, this thing sits at 5.3, and I've been playing a few games in this thing. And let me tell you, facing Yag Panthers and a full up tier, is not fun. Now let's have a look at what made this thing so strong. It's the armor, particularly from the front. Now whenever you hover over here you only see 38 millimeters, but if you slightly angle over here you'll see there's another plate. And bear in mind whenever you're facing this thing it's at a 45 degree angle. So its armor is very very difficult to break through. When you look at it here we've got 177 millimeters of protection overall. And the turret manlet is no different. 167 millimeters. A lot of trolley angles run about here as well. Even the turret neck itself is very well protected. Now, bear in mind, long 88s will practically kill this thing anywhere from the front. And even the Panther gun will go through the manlet, clean through, and practically one shot your tank every single time. As for the side, very, very weak side armor here, 38 millimeters of protection, and any large caliber gun, 76 or above, is going to easily squeeze through here. That means you have to play this thing very carefully, you can't angle too much, otherwise you're in trouble. Anything that hits you on the side is going to cause you extreme issues, and then there's the gun. It's just the 75 millimeter M3 cannon from the standard Sherman. Our main shell, APHE M61 shot, barely goes through 81 millimeters of armor at 30 degrees. And then we've got APCR to try and deal with heavier targets. Again, not a very good round, very poor post pen damage, but we are going to have to rely on it. The reason why? We are regularly going to be fighting the best tank of 5.7, the Panther A. And then to make matters worse, the Panther D in the next week is going to be put to the same BR. 5.3. Can you imagine? And this thing gets a medium tank spawn cost, and the jumbo still gets a heavy tank spawn cost. Anyway, that all being said, let's take this thing out. Welcome to Mozdok. <laughs> Typical Russian player. Holding his W key, here comes another one as well. Oh dear. I don't know what it is with people who main Russian vehicles, but they're just so ignorant. And it's a definite observation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've all witnessed it too. All I want to do is just drive and try and get somewhere, and I just find myself dodging these players left, right and center all of the time. The problem is when you have no manners, you don't realize you have no manners. So unless someone tells you in real life that you're being an asshole, you don't really know you're being an asshole. Something up here, this PT-7 scouted someone. This is not ideal, we are in a quite a large up tier. No pen on that tiger, really. It's definitely very interesting. I'm gonna have to load APCR here. We got a panther there as well now. So we get some damage done to this barrel. 
Another Panther here again. Hmm. Damage there. Now I can hit this guy's cupola. Has he been damaged by her BT5 maybe? No penetration on that. Am I firing HE rounds by mistake? Uh, okay. This is definitely an interesting turn of events. There he goes. I don't want to be facing my side off here too long. Oh, Tiger here. Nice to hit his barrel. Okay, perfect. Right, this Tiger's gonna be repairing soon, probably. I'm gonna load APCR. We just bounced a shot from something, I'm not sure where. Now it's this guy. A bit too high on that shot. I wanna be hitting the mantlet in a certain place, but not there. Now, where did I bounce this shot from? Not a teammate, I don't think. Still deploying smoke. We're in an advantageous position. I don't really want to move from here right now. This uh this 76 jumbo is far superior to me. I'm just gonna let him deal with it if he can. We're losing a lot of teammates need our spawn already, which is not great. Once this guy loses his squid ink, we can maybe push him. Okay, he's got his gun back up and running. The tiger's not gonna take a shot. Let's barrel out again. We need to really do some damage to his crew here. Ah, he moved. Okay, now this is definitely the risky thing to do. We're gonna do it. Our tiger here. See so if we can get his breach out. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. He's smoking too, which is actually good because he's just given me some cover to push up. This other tiger must be in the smoke somewhere. What's going on over here? Something there. VFW, I'm glad I took him out. That's a big kill. Non pen on him. This guy's gonna repair his breach soon, which is definitely a concern. He's starting to move again. Gonna have to start his repair once again. What a backup. We're gonna go for survival more than kills. He's bounced a side shot from this guy, too. What on earth are you? It's way too low. I should have saw that coming. And okay, now we're front on. This may be a sweet boy. Nope. It's an M18. We got his commanding gunner though. Tiger H1 just died. That's the one that we shot the breach out of earlier. That M18 is going to be back up and running in a second or two. We got a Tiger pushing us as well now. I'm going to have to go back around this way and expose myself to that M18. Bounced another shot from something. No idea what. Panther A just died on this side too. Oh my god, I'm in such a bad spot. Yeah, and we got taken out by the M18. I was having someone push up behind me. I had someone to my left. <laughs> and someone directly ahead as well. So oh, that's unfortunate. We lasted on that cap for a long time though. It's not too bad going considering the BR that we're at. At this battle rating, you can't really play brain dead in the jumbo. And it's not that the jumbo is a fantastic vehicle. And it's, it's not that it isn't. It's the way that it's played, and it, I think it, when it was at 4.7, probably it was a uh, definitely, it was over-tiered. But I feel like now at 5.3, especially facing 6.3 vehicles, when you're still using a 75mm gun, it's, it's just a little bit not fair. Those bombs are going to be bad on a delay. No, we got them, no. He didn't move that far. 
thankfully. We got an aircraft coming in. We got another tiger here. He's going to sit there stationary by the looks of it. Which is perfect. Need to get this bomb right underneath him though. Pull up. There he goes. Okay, this other aircraft's on me now. He's carrying a bomb, it's a fucker move. And he's just made a huge mistake. It's landing flaps. Start peppering him now. That's got a big old bomb on him though. If he drops it and we're anywhere near it, it's definitely going to take us out. But where is my lead in? There we go, we got him with a... We got him with a 37. That was, uh, pathetic. <laughs> Aiming there on my part, honestly. Wasted a lot of ammunition. We got a Breda down here underneath us as well. He's already getting bullied by a Tizma. Let's pick up this kill real quick. There he goes. There's another open top boy over there as well. Probably uh, Pufkov or Delaton. I think it's Pufkov actually. Oh, we got uh, some sort of SPAA angry with us. We got a critical hit on him. One crew member's fine. We'll turn our attention on something else. Oh, here comes a very angry R3. That's no doubt the Breda guy. Go back to the 80s, dude. Nobody wants you here. Another aircraft coming in. Let's deal with him first. There's no way that set him in fire. First shot. There's no way. Did I feel sick when that happened sometimes? That guy didn't deserve that. He just... I'm, uh, he didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it at all. Well, sometimes that happens. It happens to us all, actually. <laughs> it happens to me a lot. But yeah, that, that I hit him with one single round that destined him to, to die. I really don't like RNG mechanics in any game, honestly. Even if it's in my favour, it kind of sucks. Got the gunner out of the whirlwind. R3's still up, though. Um, I don't think he... I mean, he's probably spotted me, but... Is he still having a go at that IL-10? Or is he looking my way now? We're better off hitting this guy from the side than the, from, from the front. There he goes. He got shredded by the Wirble. <laughs> and down we go. He got a single back up for the Shumble. Let's go give it another shot. Panther D over there. Now, that's one thing I can't believe. So, Gaijin just added some patch notes. And they're moving the Panther D to 5-3. That's the same BR as the Jumble. Now, the Panther has honestly... <sighs> Almost as effective armor, but a much, much better gun. And a much cheaper spawn cost as well. Blows my mind. I know which vehicle I'd rather be in. After the same battle rain. Now, I'm not going to be too hopeful here. We got a Tiger E up the top. We also got a Panther D over on our flank somewhere. I'm fully expected to get shot by him very shortly. But we've got caps to take. Dead pans are here. Just soaked up around. Whereabouts is he? That's him. Tried to go for the turret neck, but I'm really at the wrong angle to be doing this. My shot was thrown off. Now he's not angled, so we'll reload quicker than him. APCR went through and did no damage. He's not angling though. Did a little bit of damage that time. Somebody's trying to hit us from here as well. Another Panther. Your APCR only loaded on this and that's not very good. Panther's looking my way. I should get his breach, which is ideal. Panzer 4's back up already. Oh no, that's not a Panzer 4. 
Can we get some shots on that guy's cannon barrel? Uh, all they need to do is hold me off the cap, and that really sucks. This tiger's... Yeah, okay. We're safe from him right now. Had the machine gun tip on that. Which caused it not to do a lot of damage at all. He got my barrel now. Now I've got no support here, so... I'm gonna have to survive multiple hits while this tiger now pushes me. Can we get some 50 kill damage on this guy's barrel? Yeah, we actually can. He can't do anything to his track, though. Uh, no damage there at all. No, you didn't. Right, okay, we got another two crew members out. Ah, oh, and then we get taken out by the... By the, the least likely thing to kill us. Where else did he hit us? In the machine gun port? Yeah, he did. That's a perfect shot, dude. GG. I tried my best. I was fighting multiple opponents. We got a thousand points out of that almost as well. If I had one single teammate that was near me, that would have gone a lot better, I feel. But yeah, that's exactly how you play your jumbo. Uh, just at this battle rate, and the jumbo just isn't very good against Germany. Oh, welcome to Maginot. 6.3 again. <laughs> this time we're against the Allies though, so it might be a little bit easier. Not much more, but at least a tiny bit. Now this map doesn't favour our heavy tank very much. That's a uh, Walker Bulldog. Okay. I used to get a shot off on him and kill him. Not too bad going so far. Yeah, in this open area, we're really not going to do so well. I'd rather get to a space where we can. I have no idea what a bulldog's doing brawling in a city. That's not the way, brother. Definitely need to make a video on that thing. It's a very, very good vehicle. Let's have a wee look around. That's a Centurion Mark 1. Now, I don't think I've got the rangefinder to decide what distance this is at, but I'm going to guess 1400. A little bit too low. I'm just going to readjust to where the round had landed before. Non-pen at this range. I'm honestly not surprised. It's a long way away for the 75. That one went over. Now, he can do damage to me from this distance. So I'm going to fire one last time and we'll just back up. Yeah, unfortunately, if that was a 76mm, we would have killed that guy. For damn sure. Unfortunately, we got baby stubby gun here, so didn't do much damage at all. Now, our teammates are back on that cap, recapping, so that's good news. I'm gonna head up to the top of this hill. It's sad that I got the drop on that guy, and I managed to get the distance right and a decent shot where I should have been hitting him. And just because of the battle rate in the Borat, it didn't do anything. I was. I wasn't rewarded for my efforts. Now, I'm not seeing very many people around for how many people are actually in the game. I can't go near that Centurion at all. That APDS round is going to do serious damage to us. And considering we couldn't even get a shot through his side, it's very unlikely we're going to get him from the front. But he needs help over here. I will gladly oblige. No idea what this is though. That's a T20 or T25. Showed it our side though. Oh, he's dead. M26. Purging, dude, I imagine. This is the sort of thing I need to deal with. Perfect shot on another Bulldog. If we can keep fighting lightly armor targets, I'm quite happy to do that. Oh, this is not looking good over here, actually. Let's just back up near this bunker. M18, roughly the same distance. A little bit too far behind, he's travelling at speed, so... Too close that time. Now he can't do anything to me from the front and he stopped, which is not a great idea. Down he goes. Get my 50 cal. 
We're gonna need that probably. Let's get that repaired up. Oh, speaking of needing a 50 cal. It's gonna miss hopefully. Yeah, we're good. For now anyway, he's still got another bomb drop. Did he go high? Can't see him from all the dust he's created. Bombing that panther. Is that another chunk? Nope. It was not. It was just a normal Sherman. Let's get a 50 on this aircraft. The lower he comes, the more chance we've got of hitting him. I've got no chance there. Okay, I'm just going to leave him be for now. Just took a shot from somebody, no idea where. Go down in this valley and hopefully be able to hide. STA, he's dead. Thank you very much, boys. Oh, he's nice and low now. Actually, get the main gun on him, let's see. Got his attention, though. For sure. Got a critical, probably engine damage. I would hope so. Yeah, he's smoking pretty bad now. Giving these allies a taste of their own, own medicine. Yeah, he's very likely going to crash. They can fire from somewhere. Oh yeah, I see him. Um, is that a dead turret? Maybe. It may actually be shot from our left, maybe. Somebody else took a shot at us. I saw him a little bit further behind there. Yeah, he's way back. 90 mil is definitely scary. Which I think that is. Oh, yeah. That was just a Sherman. Our boy up here. A little bit too far. Let's go 700-ish. And again. Probably gonna figure out how I jumbo. Bouncing more shots. That there can definitely pin my manlet. We has breach though. You may get a little bit scared and pull back. Another STA? Yeah, that's not ideal. I'm not sure if that thing gets heat or if he's firing APCR at me. But uh, he done me some serious damage there. Probably went right through mapper from plate. He took out three crew members. Let's just repair whatever needs to be repaired here. SGRD. Never used that vehicle, so I'm unsure what it's got. I'm sure we can kill it frontally, though. We get a shot on him first, that is. There we go. Oh, it was a bulldog. It was a bulldog. Yeah, APDS will cleave through us, no problem. Now I'm not concerned anymore. That guy is gone. That scent, though, is still up there. And that's a different situation altogether. Way too low. Now, we have got the enemy's tickets down pretty low. We've got 13 kills on top of there, so I think just staying alive is going to be the the best thing to do at the moment. We'll just chill here for a wee minute or two. This firefly is coming back up again. Just trying to get his transmission. We've got six rounds left. And a very slow reload. Scent's no longer anywhere to be seen. That firefly has awful depression, so he's going to have to keep pushing out quite far to get a shot on us. Thankfully. Get ahead that building. M16 likely. Oh look who's back. Can't believe that didn't hit. Come on.
He's gone way over the hill. He's flying awfully slow though. He's coming really close to us. Missed him with the main gun. There he goes. Nice to pop his engine. Finally. <laughs> what an absolute pest. Okay, we got uh this these two guys haven't died at all. So they're probably the ones that are outside of the map. We can maybe push up behind them and give them a surprise. Oh, great mobility now though. Oh, that'll definitely do it. <laughs> now this must be the scent guy. I don't think I've seen him die yet. We got the cap. And GG. We managed to get number one in the team despite us being bottom BR, so not bad going at all. So there we have Le French Jumbo. Unfortunately, every game I had was 6.3. It can hold its own as long as you're in the perfect circumstance, but facing 6.3 vehicles is not easy. And honestly, there's not much you can really do if you get yourself into that situation. Is there lineups for this thing you can bring out? The SA50, maybe? Is it going to be worth risking getting to 6.7, bringing the ARL44 out? It wouldn't be me, put it that way. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Much love, and bye-bye.